Hello guys, this is Nestor in China and today I will show you what it's like to take the bullet train in China. Today I'm actually in the city of Wenzhou, 1000 kilometers away from Xiamen. It's about 600, 600 miles. And then now I need to go back to my city in Xiamen. Let's go. Follow me. Now we are taking the metro to go to the train station in Wenzhou. Wenzhou well, is a, a little bit old city, it's not like Xiamen new and modern, but it has a lot of culture. It's uh, bigger than Xiamen. We're going to board the metro. For that, we use an application we pay by mobile. And now we're going to wait downstairs for our train. The metro in Wenzhou is usually crowded. We arrived to our destination, we are leaving the metro now. We're going to go to the train station. Exiting the, train st the metro station. It's so hot today. So you can see how hot it is there. I was sweating. Wow. So this is the train station in Guangzhou, China. As I say, the city is not so modern, but it's rich in culture. Compared to Xiamen, where I live, it's a new city. But practically a new city, so everything's new. Even the train station, metro, everything. Now we need to enter. Verification are foreigners, so they use all artificial intelligence, face recognition. You are Chinese, you have your ID. Well, I'm not, I'm a foreigner. Uh, how to enter here? Okay. You go around, you have to go here, manual verification. That's for Chinese citizens' IDs, this is for foreigners, passports, and other, other cases when they cannot verify automatically by AI. Finally, we pass the check-in and then we go to security check. And the last part, they just check our ID to make sure that we have a ticket. Because we don't print tickets, everything's online. Okay, if you see here, I think I will eat, I'm hungry. And they have here our waiting is um, that one, number one. Our train is to Shaman, departs at 5.50 and now it's uh, 5. I just have enough time. We can eat something in KFC. We use those machines to order food in China. Self-selling machines. Now waiting for my turn. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten all morning. Having some delicious cafe soup before my trip. Small but delicious. China is very efficient in the first market. So go room number one. Let's go here. Ah, it's more beautiful. It's interesting. Alright, so that's the waiting number one. Okay, it's a pack of people. A lot of people here. So we're almost waiting for a train. And then, uh, actually it's a busy season. So you have to buy your tickets one week ahead of time. Uh, like now you're buying it less three days, you cannot get a ticket. It's so full. It's really, really full of people. Too many people traveling. The last trace of COVID-19 where you had to keep distance, but now it's not anymore. That's right. Need to follow, find the door number three. The, we can go left or right. Our car is number 15. So we go this side. Okay, he's going to wait. 15 car, car number 15. This is the old train. We're going to wait for the new train, but we need to find the number here. Our car is 19, it's a 15. It's number two. So we are like in the top, in the bottom. That's funny, it's the old train. So cute. Bullet train for sure. It's 
seen that our train is delayed, which is not very usual. It's the first time I can see this. It's almost like 20 minutes late. Very strange for a fast train. So this is a bullet train coming. It's so beautiful. But it's late. Train. Usually in China, people play the mobile to kill the time. We are leaving. There are some selling on, in, on board. In the airplane, usually they sell you imported goods, and here usually it's uh, food for cows. And it work. In the end, the girl makes some sales. We are arriving to our first stop. You can see the bullet train in the background. They are very long. The bullet train network in China is one of the biggest in the world. They started basically in 2008 and now it covers all China. We stop for a while to some passengers get in and we continue to the next stop. If there are some problems with the tickets. Uh, some people say they get the same seat number. The staff come and solve it. It turns out that they just got into the wrong car. very clean the lady clean every time after every stop somebody clean the train especially because next to me is a, is a kid always littering with food all the floor they also collect the garbage six hours later it was a long, long way, but finally we are arriving to Shaman, the city where we live. You can see the train station Shaman is totally different from its new and beautiful model. We live in our train. We live in the train's car and we are leading to the exit. We had to do a final ID check to complete the trip. And this is what the train station shaman looks like. So it's uh, rel relatively new. And I'm finally home. It's midnight now in China. The total trip was six hours plus one hour commuting. Usually it's uh, four hours, and but it's not it's not close. It's, it's uh, almost 1,000 kilometers, about 600 miles. But, um, but overall, the, the, the trip is straightforward and it's very easy to do it. You just buy your ticket. Uh, you can do it in the train station ticket office or you can do it online. Uh, in China, we usually do online. I use the WeChat application. But there's also a lot, a lot of online booking apps where you can simply buy a ticket like you buy an airplane. You, it's, uh, you do it like, uh, like a booking an, an air ticket. You choose your, your origin, your destination, the time you just buy. And the process is, you don't need to print your ticket. When you book it online, you, you enter your passport information as a foreigner or you are Chinese, your Chinese ID number, right? And, and that's it, you need to print a ticket, which I like, is very eco-friendly. You arrive to the train station, 
they, they do a manual check. They check uh, your passport number to see if you have a ticket for, for that day. Then you go security check, that's normal. Then you wait for a train and before boarding the train, you have a last check in the gate and to make sure that your ticket is for that train, which is good for you, otherwise you get lost. It happens, sometimes you, you go to another city before it happened to me, because they didn't check it before, but now they check. Uh, and that's it. And that's it guys. I hope you like this video. If you find it interesting, please give it a like and subscribe for more interesting videos about China. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Adios.